Welcome to the third trig ratios lesson. In this lesson, we're going to derive the law of sines and the law of cosines. Up until this point, we've used trigonometry on only right triangles. But with these two laws, law of sines and law of cosines, we'll be able to use it on any kind of triangles, even ones that don't have right angles in them. So as an example, take a look at example one. We're going to try to find the area of ABC. Well, we know that the area formula for a triangle is 1 half base times height. If this 150 is my base length, uh, my height isn't even in the picture, so maybe I draw it. And when I draw it in there, notice that what it does is it creates two right triangles, one on the left and one on the right, and I just happen to have one of these angle measurements. The height is opposite from that 40 degree angle, and the 100 is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So in order to find this height, we could use sine. The sine of 40 degrees equals the opposite, which is h, over the hypotenuse, which is 100. 100 is on bottom, so we can just multiply it over. And our height is equal to 100 times the sine of 40. And at this point, I wouldn't put this into the calculator. That is the exact measurement for the height that we're going to stick in here. So our area equals 1 half the base, which is 150, times the height, which we just found to be 100, times the sine of 40. Put all of this into my calculator, and I find that my area is approximately 4,821 meters squared when I round it to the nearest meter. Okay, so as you can see from this example, we use trigonometry on a triangle that was not originally a right triangle. Triangles that are not right triangles, the ones that don't have right angles in them, are called oblique. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start using trigonometry on oblique triangles. We're going to derive this thing called the law of sines. Next.